If you are looking for some easy to make, delicious and healthy bread rolls, you should try this German recipe for bread rolls with seeds and nuts called Kornstangen in Germany. The addition of seeds give these rolls a beautiful flavor and a pack of huge nutritional punch. You can use seeds that you like the best. In this video I use sesame seeds, flax seeds, poppy seeds and sunflower seeds. Start by adding all seeds into a stand mixer bowl and then add the hot water and give it a little stir. As always, you can find the recipe in the description below this video. Then cover the bowl with a clean kitchen towel and set it aside for at least 3 hours. For the next step, add the all-purpose flour, rye flour, barley mold, crushed caraway and fennel seeds, walnuts, yeast, apple cider vinegar and the quark to the bowl. Mix it briefly on low to combine and then add the water and knead the dough on low speed for about 3 minutes and then for 5 minutes on medium speed. As you perhaps know, German recipes call for grams and milliliters. But I went through the work for you and adjust all my authentic German recipes to you as standard measurements. You will notice that the dough will be a little bit sticky, like you see here. But you should be able to scrape the dough from the bowl and shape it in kind of a ball. You probably hear that a lot of people have the opinion that you need a kitchen scale for baking because it's more accurate. Well, that's true. If you are able to use the exact same flour that the recipe creator uses and you live in the same kind of climate where the recipe was created. If not, the recipe will not be more accurate if you have grams and millimeter measurements. Cover the bowl again with a clean kitchen towel and allow the dough to rise for about 20 to 30 minutes. Baking depends a lot on the flour and even one all-purpose flour is not the same as another all-purpose flour. Additionally, the humidity and the elevation come into play, not to speak about the other ingredients. Therefore, a baking recipe always needs some fine-tuning that only you can make with some experience. We host a free All Taste German Facebook group where I can help you with all your questions if you need help with your fine-tuning. After the proofing time, Place the dough onto a with flour sprinkled workspace and divide it into 8 pieces. Then shape each piece of dough to a ball and sprinkle it lightly with flour. Cover the dough balls and allow them to proof for about 10 to 15 minutes. After that proofing time, flatten a dough ball and roll it out to kind of an oblong of about 10 to 12 inches. Roll the dough up from the small side and place it point side up on a with parchment lined baking sheet. And then repeat the same for all dough balls. Mm -hmm. 
after you shaped all bread rolls, add about two to three tablespoons of seeds of your choice to a shallow bowl. Spray the bread rolls with water, then dip them into the seeds and place them back onto the baking sheet. Alternatively, you could spray and just sprinkle them with the seeds. I used sesame seeds and flax seeds, but be careful with the flax seeds. They can make you run, <laughs> if you know what I mean. On the other hand, if you have a problem with not being able to go, then some additional flax seeds really help you out. Now you just need to cover the rolls for a last time and allow them to raise for about 30 minutes. In the meantime, preheat the oven to 425 degrees and place an oven-safe dish with water into the oven on the lowest rack. After the last race, slash each bread roll with a sharp knife about three times diagonally. Spray the rolls again with water and bake them in a preheated oven for about 25 minutes or until they are done. Enjoy the rolls with sweet or savory toppings or as a companion to a soup or salad. Guten Appetit!